Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the 360 Daily Show, where we bring you the latest news in fashion and lifestyle. Angela Simmons apologizes for wearing gun purse to BET Awards. Sydney Sweeney flaunts her curves with chaotic mirror selfies. And on our trending segment, Angela Simmons apologizes for wearing gun purse to BET Awards. It was a mistake. Angela Simmons, whose ex-fiance, Sutton Tennyson, was fatally shot in 2018, apologized for wearing a bedazzled gun-shaped purse to the 2024 BET Awards on Sunday. I want to address the recent incident involving the green purse I carried at the BET Awards. When I chose the purse, I believed it was cute and unique and I made a poor decision in using it as an accessory to amplify my beauty, she wrote on her Instagram stories Monday night. I deeply regret that this item, which symbolizes a gun, was inappropriate and insensitive, especially given my personal and community experiences with gun violence. And on our sporty segment, Sydney Sweeney flaunts her curves with chaotic mirror selfies. Sydney Sweeney flaunted what she's got in a slideshow of chaotic mirror selfies she shared on Saturday. The Euphoria Star 26 wore a complete Miu Miu look with a printed poplin miniskirt, which cost $1,463 and matching top $856 as she showed off her assets. She paired the look with a Miu Miu IV canvas tote bag, which costs $1,850. Sweeney also shared a video of her unboxing the new Miu Miu bag to her story. The post included a matching bandana scarf that was tied around the top handle. And onto our editorial segment, Sean Diddy comes selling Los Angeles mansion for $70 million after Homeland Security raid. The disgraced music mogul, 54, reportedly put his Homely Hills home up for sale less than four months after Homeland Security raided it in connection to a sex trafficking investigation. The acre-sized property also includes a smaller 3,000 square foot guest home. The outdoor selling points include a lagoon-style swimming pool with an underwater swimming tunnel, a basketball half-court and manicured gardens. In partnership with renowned fashion house This Is Us Johnny Walker, one of the world's leading scotch whiskies unveiled the Walk With Us capsule collection, an ode to Nigeria's visionaries, dreamers and doers. The collection showcased meticulously crafted pieces, This Is Us signature indigo, adorned with hand-stitched messages designed to inspire a nation of trailblazers. This collaboration stands as a testament to Johnny Walker's dedication to championing the vibrant Nigerian creative economy. The brand is on a mission to inspire a new generation of pioneers to stride confidently towards their dreams, just as the whiskey has evolved and innovated throughout its history. To celebrate its most recent collaboration, Johnny Walker hosted luminaries and tastemakers from fashion, art and entertainment at an exclusive experience at the Royal Box Victoria Island, Lagos on June 29, 2024. Guests were treated to a sensory journey beginning with an immersive exhibition of the Walk With Us collection. And on Spicy or Not, Kim Kardashian stuns in halter neck top and matching skirt at Michael Robin's 4th of July white party in the Hamptons. Kim Kardashian wowed in a silky white halter neck top and matching skirt as she attended Fanatics CEO Michael Rubin's annual 4th of July white party in the Hamptons. The Kardashian star certainly turned up the heat at the hottest party of the summer with rumored ex-flings like Tom Brady and Aldo Beckham Jr. also scoring an invite with her dark tresses styled down and straight with a middle part. The 350 guests at this year's white party received a stylish treat in the form of custom Nike and Travis Scott sneakers. Another lavish gift the Skims founder received came in the form of the Soiree's invitation which was a personalized illustrated sketch by famed artist George Kondo. Of course, Thursday wasn't the first time Kardashian has dazzled at Rubin's famed summer bash. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.